I'm Don Nelson. Here are your top headlines. We have an update to a story we first brought you this week, and the Ada County Coroner has identified the body of a man recovered from Quinn's Pond. He has been identified as 21-year-old Patrick Boone King, uh, Boise. Police were all called into the area around 8.30 Saturday night for an apparent drowning. Uh, they found the body, and they feel that the body had been in the water for several days. Officials say the man likely drowned, but the cause of death won't be determined for sure until toxicology results come back in. Police say there's right now no obvious signs of foul play. Several Boise area businesses recently had their emails hacked, and that's led to scammers sending out a whole slew of fake emails to local residents, according to the Better Business Bureau. For example, fake emails supposedly sent from a local HVAC company offering uh, what looked like a bid for work with a link for the recipient to click on. Everything looks very familiar to that company. The signature line, the logos there, the title and name of the president, and even their mission statement is on there. And so it's very convincing that this could actually be coming from the local company. Here are some ways to protect yourself. If you get an email like this, the Better Business Bureau says it's best to call the company directly and see whether they actually sent you the email, especially if you haven't had any recent contact with that company. Don't click on any links or attachments. That's how scammers steal your personal information and look for misspelled words, bad grammar or generic greetings. Those could all be signs of a phishing scam. The 2019 Albertsons Boise Open is set to tee off at Hillcrest Country Club this week. This year marks the tournament's 30th year. The first round of the Boise Open starts Thursday. Gates open at 7.30 in the morning with tee time starting at 7.40. Saturday's third round also features a concert from country star Justin Moore. That gets underway at 6.30. Now, Rachel Garso with the On Your Side forecast. And cooler weather will be coming in for those golfers towards the end of the work week. But today we had a hot start to the school year for lots of Idaho kids that went back today across southwest Idaho. We hit the mid to upper 90s across the Treasure Valley, low 90s for the Magic Valley, and even up in our mountain valleys. We saw some temperatures flirting with that 90 degree mark. Our extended forecast shows temperatures inching even higher tomorrow. Boise up to 99 degrees on Tuesday. If we do hit 100, it will be the fourth time this summer that has happened happened in the city of trees on Wednesday. Not quite as hot. We'll drop down to 96 degrees in Boise. Some clouds, though, will start working their way in and you'll likely notice the wind picking up on Thursday or on Wednesday ahead of a cold front that will really have an impact on Thursday. So the wind will pick up that might mess with the golf games out there at uh, the Albertsons Boise Open and temperatures will drop in a big, big way out of the mid 90s Wednesday to the low to mid 80s on Thursday. Slightly hotter Friday and then temperatures rebound back into the low 90s for Saturday as we head into the weekend. Remember, for your very latest news and weather headlines, you can always visit sixonyourside.com.